Hi, another video from Fast Tech. In this one, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get your PS4 into safe mode and how to get your PS4 Pro out of safe mode if it's stuck in safe mode. Um, this video is going to be useful for you if your console's uh, stuck in an update loop or if it just gives you a restore error or if it gives you a cannot start uh, error code. Uh, you, can, you, you can use instructions that I'm about to give you to get your console working again. Uh, in certain cases, you, you might need a new hard drive, and we sell that on our website. I'm going to put a link in the description for that. Um, if these steps fail, then you most definitely need a new hard drive, and uh, we sell that on our website. Uh, you can use the coupon code YouTube uh, for a discount if you uh, buy it from the link in the description below. Uh, so let's get started. So here's our PS4 Pro. We're trying to get it in safe mode. Uh, and uh, what, what we're gonna do is we're gonna plug the power cable and the HDMI cable in. We're gonna make sure those are plugged in in the back, okay? You're gonna plug the power cable and the HDMI in. Then you're gonna, at the front here, at the front of the console, okay? We're gonna press and hold the power button. And we're gonna hold it for roughly, I'd say about six to seven seconds. Uh, but we're gonna hold it till the second beep. So uh, when, once we press the power button and hold it It's gonna beep once and it's gonna beep twice and on the second beep. We're gonna release the power button uh, So we're gonna press it like that. That's the first beep the console turns on Okay, and we're gonna hear a second beep and As soon as we hear the second beep we're gonna release uh, the power button It should be now Okay, release the power button, light still blinking blue. Now, uh, we're, uh, on the TV, it says safe mode on the top left corner. And it says connect to DualShock 4 using the USB cable and then press the PS button. We're gonna plug in our controller via USB. Okay, controller is not gonna work wirelessly. Okay, we're gonna plug the USB in. Okay, we're gonna make sure our controller's plugged in. Once the controller is plugged in, we're gonna press this PS button here on the controller. Okay, and then our safe mode menu is gonna come up. Okay, uh, now there's a few options here. I'm gonna go through all of them. Uh, the first one says restart PS4. This one's pretty useless, uh, so we're gonna ignore that one. Second option is change resolution. Okay, this is useful if your console is set to a resolution that your TV doesn't support. For example, if, your t if the console is set to 4K and your TV doesn't support 4K, only supports 1080p, uh, you can reset your resolution using this screen, or let's just say you're set, you set it to 1080p but your TV only scores 720p, uh, this option is going to be useful for you. We're not doing that right now, I just wanted to show it to you guys, so we're going to go back. Third option here says update system software. Uh, this is handy if uh, it's a, if your system uh, software update is expired or corrupted. You, know, you can uh, download the update on a USB stick, which I'm going to be showing you guys in a second, and then plug it in and up update the console uh, using a USB stick. The fourth option says restore default settings. Okay, this option here uh, is good if you're trying to reset all your settings back to the default settings, uh, including resolution and network settings. Okay, the fifth option is rebuild database. This only works in certain situations, okay, and this takes about three to four hours. So make sure that uh, you have ample time if you're gonna be uh, trying this option. The sixth option says initialize PS4. Uh, this will basically uh, reset your console back to factory settings when it when it came out of the box and, and all the software on your PS4 is going to be deleted including any games and any other data that you may have on there. The seventh option is very similar uh, and in the sense that it does the same things number six does but along with initialization it also installs the system software through a USB, uh, USB drive. Uh, and that is useful if your uh, if your console is not working at all, uh, if your console's bricked or it's in an update loop or it's stuck uh, on a screen that it won't go past. Uh, you can try these two options here, and uh, that would uh, solve your problem. Uh, the last option is HDCP mode, and you can set your HDCP mode to automatic or HDCP 1.4. 
Uh, this one I believe only works if you have HDMI 1.4 and this one is an automatic setting that works with all HDMI uh, inputs. Uh, so what I'm going to do here, um, just to demonstrate to you guys uh, what these two options do, uh, I have my update prepped on a USB stick um, already. I have all the files here on this USB stick. Uh, I'm going to put it. I'm going to put the uh, instructions on how to download the update file and put it on a USB stick in the description box. I'm going to put a link to Sony's website uh, so you can download the update, put it on a USB stick. Uh, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug this USB stick. I'm going to plug it here in the second USB port that's available. Okay. Now I'm going to go uh, to option number seven that says initialize PS4, reinstall system software. Now it says connect USB device, which we've already done. Uh, then we're going to just press OK. And it's going to start doing its thing. It's going to look for the file might take a few seconds up to a minute sometimes it's gonna find the update file it's gonna ask us if we're sure if we want to install we're gonna press yes and the console is gonna restart so once it finds the file it's gonna bring us to this screen uh, it's gonna say PS4 will be initialized all using the data will be deleted so at this point if you press yes everything on the hard drive is gonna get wiped uh, we're sure that we want to do this so we're just gonna press yes and now it's initializing going to do its thing and then it's going to restart and then the software is going to start uh, the software is going to start installing and now it's installing the system software so we're just going to let it do its thing Now it's installing the update file. Uh, it's gonna do this. There's gonna be a progress bar. This is the progress bar for the installation. Uh, it's gonna go to 100 eventually. It might restart one more time. And then it's gonna take us to uh, the PlayStation uh, uh, menu where it's gonna ask us to select our name and all the other kinds of information. Uh, so it's gonna finish this process and then it's gonna restart one more time. Uh, once it gets to 100, it's going to finish installing the update file, and then we can go to the next step. If any of these steps fail, you may need a new hard drive. We sell these on our website uh, at www.fasttech.ca. I'm going to put a direct link in the description box so you can buy it from us. Or if you get stuck at 60% or 99% during the initialization process or the software installation process, if you get stuck, you most likely need a new hard drive. We sell these on our website uh, at www.fasttech.ca. Link in the description box. Uh, we sell them with the enclosure, uh, this thing right here, uh, and without. Uh, if you uh, if you if you just need the hard drive, we can sell you just a hard drive, or we can sell it with this enclosure here. Uh, if you buy just a hard drive, you all you all you got to do is remove these four screws put the hard drive in and install it in the console. We have uh, a, another video on our channel showing you guys how to do this. And I can put a link in, I'm gonna put a link in the description for that as well. Uh, so if you get stuck um, anywhere during the, uh, during this repair, uh, if, you're, if, if, if any of the safe mode options don't work, if the initialized uh, options don't work, if option six and seven don't work, uh, then you need a new hard drive. Uh, and you're gonna have to restart these steps. Alright, so once once it's finished doing its thing, it's gonna take you to this blue screen and that means, that's usually good news. That means that uh, everything went well. We're gonna press the PS button, select our language, which is English, United States. Uh, next, we're not gonna check the network, we're not connecting it. Skip this also. date and time next and then accept nobody reads this anyways and there you have it 
Console's booting into the PS menu, uh, and everything's good. So this this was uh, uh, this was a, a tutorial brought to you by Fast Tech. Don't forget to check out our website if you need any parts, tools, or support uh, or repair services. Um, check us out at www.fasttech.ca, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like our videos, and comment. And I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the bell next to the, next to the subscribe button if you want to receive notifications. Uh, and don't forget to like our videos and comment on them. We try to respond to as many comments as humanly possible. Uh, and also don't forget to check out our website if you need any parts, tools, or repair services if you don't want to do it yourself at www.fasttech.ca. And I'll catch you in the next one.